you want to practice for the SAT or ACT exam, um, there are a lot of good ways to do it. One of the things that you can do is, for the SAT, if you go to www.collegeboard.com, um, you can get a ton of stuff there. So number one, they have free practice questions. Great thing to do. Number two, you may have heard of this. They have the question of the day, which they'll actually email to you every day right into your, you know, your own email account. It's a great way to do it, you know, five minutes a day. And over a period of time, if you can do that start early enough, over a period of time, you barely seem like you're doing any work, and yet you get lots of really great SAT questions from the test maker. So they're real questions. It really gives you a, a feel for the test and a feel for the kinds of questions they ask. Not only that, but they'll give you the correct answer, and they'll give you the solution to the question, um, so you can even learn how to do them, whether it's a sentence completion or a math or a writing question. Great thing to do. The third thing you can get on the collegeboard.com is you can actually take a full practice test. Um, you can either just look at it as a PDF on your screen and do it on paper, or you can print it out if you have the availability to do that. It's a long test, so it's, it's a lot to print out. But you can print it out and take a timed practice test, and it gives you the answers um, and a scale, so that's great. For the ACT, you can go to www.actstudent.org, and same thing, you can get a free practice test that you can either take right off the screen there, or you can download and print out. Um, the best way to study for the SAT or the ACT, I mean, the most important piece is definitely a practice test, because you're getting your pacing down, you're getting the endurance of taking the test, Logistically, you're getting how to use the answer sheet, how to fill in the ovals, um, what the, you know, the timing is like and everything. So that's the best thing to do. If you have more time, then you want to do those practice questions over time. One last thing is if you go to your guidance office or your college counseling, you can get a free booklet. It's the same test that's available online, but this way you don't have to take it off the screen or you don't have to, um, you don't have to print it out. So for the SAT or the ACT, if you go to your guidance office or your college counseling office, they usually have these free booklets there. They're totally free to the school and to you, um, and you should be able to get one there.